Hello, my beautiful family. How are you all doing? I hope everyone is well by the grace of God. Happy Sunday. Welcome back to Elefina Kitchen. If you are a subscriber, please welcome. If you're new, please, you are also welcome. I want to thank all my subscribers, my viewers, my supporters for the amazing job that they are doing for me all the support i cannot thank you guys enough i am truly grateful and appreciative god will bless you all abundantly this afternoon sunday a request is made nana you order this food and also i want to share it with my beautiful family i hope you guys enjoy this what we are making today is a bank cutting comb. <laughs> I love the name. I, oh, 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 I love saying that. So I hope you enjoy this video as much as I am going to enjoy making it. Guys, here are our beautiful ingredients. The meat we are using here are we have uh, beef intestines, we have beef tripe, we have goat meal with skin, okay? That's what we are going to use for base, okay? So, we are using peanuts, also known as granuts. Uh, we have here the palm nut fruits that I'm using is uh, neat, okay? That's what I'm using, okay? We have some live crab here that we are going to also add to our soup. We have scalp bunny peppers. We have yellow onions and also purple onion. We have spinach. We have some mushrooms here. We have some shallot as well as ginger. This is anise seeds. This is cloves. This is cow feet. We have brown macro here. We have Super cool. I don't know the name, the English name, guys. Drop your comment. We have um, this is baked um, dry catfish, and also this is baked herring, and as well as this one here too. Okay. Um, we have tomato paste. We have big blended shrimps. This is uh, cloves of garlic, salt for taste. I hope you enjoyed this video again. So guys, let's get cooking. All right, so this is a uh, goat meal with skin on it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to bake it so it will be a different flavor to ours. I'm not putting salt or any seasoning because when once it's in the soup, we have a lot of seasoning that is not going to be anyway. So you don't need to season your meat if you are going to use it in the soup. So we put our oven to the highest maximum heat. So we faster and also it will, uh, it will bake fast. Okay, so we are going to do this for approximately one hour. I have already cleaned my um, beef tripe. Okay, guys, what you're doing is make sure you clean the beef tripe really, really well. Some of them have a lot of sun. Okay, so make sure that you clean it very well. So what I'm going to do. Beautiful 
people so as you can see the goat meat is coming along very nicely that's exactly how we want it see how nice it is it's going to be really nice in the soup so i have also decided to bake um the cow feet a little bit all right so we have finished boiling the meat just like so and like this okay so now we are going to start our um our soup so this is the meat um that we boiled from earlier on is the broth um what i'm going to do is i'm just going to drain it okay and this is going to go the broth is going to go in our soup later um okay so guys you see what i'm talking about this is from when i boiled the beef dry see that that's the reason why i boiled it so that you can get all this nasty out of it all right so we are ready to clean our crab the crab when i bought it they were uh, live so they just kind of like fat so much that all the um all the legs kind of like broke off right so just clean it like this first when you clean a crab you never clean a crab before you you start from here okay from here i'm removing the shell right so just like that all right and these are eggs by the way okay so just like this all right so i'm just gonna use scissors to clean it okay just like so this one too same thing Uh, done. Okay. All right, when you finish cleaning your crab, it should look something like this. All right, okay. so it's been about an hour and a half. As you can see, look at how amazing this looks. Okay, and also, it, when you do this, when you bake it, it kind of melts all the um, fat away. You know, look at how amazing this is. I love it. And then the meat beautiful right nice and dry it's gonna make the soup taste so nice guys all right let's get to it i've transferred the meat in the pot i'm putting some mushrooms in there okay the herrings they are a little bit tough so also gonna go in there everything that i have put in here has been washed thoroughly all right so i have i'm ready to blend basically i have four charlotte four yellow onions okay all I'm doing is I'm just gonna cut it so it's easier to blend. That's what I'm doing, just like that. Also, cutting my ginger small so it is easier to blend. Me here, ready to blend. I have about three tablespoons of anise seeds. Okay, just like that. Now I am adding some water to make it easier. I'm using hot water. You can use cold water, that's fine too. We're gonna blend our seasoning into very smooth, okay? All right. So, this is the seasoning that we blended. We put it on our meat to steam, just like so. So, now I'm using one tablespoon, just like so. Add one tablespoon of salt. I saw my burner is on a high heat, but later on, I always turn it down. I'm going to steam it for about 25 minutes. So I am ready to boil my veggies, okay, just like so. Um, here, um, you can use as much as garlic you want. Garlic is really, really good for you. So just like so. So have my scalp bunny pepper and some yellow onions and also purple onion, okay. I'm going to boil the veggies so they are nice and soft then i'm going to blend it uh, i have my palm nut fruit here i'm going to blend it a little bit okay the reason why i'm doing that so that it will be more smoother so i'm ready to uh, blend my palm nut fruit. this is the broth from the meat that i brought earlier on i'm just gonna add it here just like so to give it a little bit more um liquid okay so it's been 25 minutes okay so now I blended my palm nut fruit and I'm adding it in here just like so. As you can see, this is the palm nut fruit, okay? Uh, it is okay, you don't have to wash it out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my peanut butter or granules, okay? In here and I'm going to blend the same way that I blend the palm nut fruit. 
water ready to blend all right so you notice that i did not cook the peanuts separately okay the reason why we cook the peanut soup separately is because the peanut soup takes a long time and what happens is that if you are you have your meat and you cook it on it it get really 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 soft but in this case my meats are so tough so it is okay for me to add the peanut soup and the palm nut soup together right away so that they will all cook together have our soup going so now we're ready to blend our veggies so we are ready to blend our veggies we are adding in our veggies just like so wow looks so amazing oh well, guys this is the veggies that we boil this is the broth from it i never throw it away i'm gonna add it to the soup instead of just a plain water i am adding my broth so the soup wow it's nice and full so now what we're going to do we are going to lower our burner to make it cook slowly so as you can see our soup is coming along fine we have our tomato paste here okay i'm just gonna add it in here baked dried shrimps blended yes i'm putting so much because i don't use any maggie in my soup so that's why this gives it a lot of flavor and also makes it nice and thick guys look at this soup eh? it's coming along so 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 well my goodness it's gonna taste so good so i am adding in my beef tribe we are adding in our catfish just like so oh my goodness just like so a micro fish we just want to add two of them just like so and beautiful so it is so good and now our crab okay beautiful wow. our soup is almost done this is cloves. I'm just putting the cloves here for just extra aroma and also cloves are very very good for you. Okay, just like that. We have our spinach here washed nicely. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to chop it up. Okay, so just like that. Make sure you have it nicely just like that. And I'm just going to put it. Just like this. Beautiful.